Hello, and welcome back to another Beasters video. Today, we are going to talk about the smartest shrimp with incredible superpowers, the Mantis Shrimp, or some might call it the Muhammad Ali of the aquatic world. So here we go. But before we start, please do hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos and start this amazing animal journey with us. Earth, this heavenly planet that has given us its resources in abundance and sustained life for countless millennia, is also home to approximately 8.7 million other species of organisms, some of which are also as old as the Earth itself. These organisms comprise both terrestrial and aquatic animals and plants that have shown immense physiological adaptations with time. One such species of organism is the crustaceans. Precisely speaking, crustaceans are large groups of animals that include crabs, prawns, lobsters, crayfish, barnacles, and shrimps. We are sure that you guys must have heard these names before, probably on some seafood restaurant menu. And we are also pretty sure that our seafood-eating audience would have even started visualizing themselves having a gala time with this oh-so-delicious cuisine. Tempting, isn't it? It sure is, but let's not deviate from the topic. While we are at it, let us introduce you to the mantis shrimp, a specific category of the crustacean that seems to have some incredible superpowers. Yes, you heard that right, superpowers. And we are not even kidding. The mantis shrimp has around 500 identified species, and God knows how many are actually in existence yet to be classified. These shrimps, metaphorically speaking, are like clouds because they are spread all over the entire planet. However, a large proportion of them resides in warm tropical waters. It is believed that they have existed on Earth since more than a million years ago, so much so that one of the oldest mantis shrimp is said to be 340 million years old. Astonishing, right? One of the main features of these unique shrimps is the fact that they exist in a variety of colors and shades. If we talk about their physical appearance, they can be around 10 centimeters in length, and on few occasions can also grow up to be 38 centimeters. The mantis shrimp is quite aggressive, but at the same time, is somewhat like the shy and introverted friend of yours who does not prefer coming out of their homes or comfort zone and only does so when it is about their survival. They are the kind of predators that the other marine organisms need to look out for, for their safety I mean. They hunt down their prey and can easily be referred to as the most dangerous crustaceans to exist. The mantis strip can be classified into two broad categories, the spearman and crushers. The spearman's unique physical property includes the thorns on its legs, which it uses to get a grip and firm hold of the prey. Furthermore, they use these legs to dig holes or burrows in the sea soil to make a place for them to live. Given their conservative nature, they do not prefer coming out of these burrows unless they need to hunt. They wait for the prey at the end of the burrow and take a quick scan of the surroundings. As soon as the shrimp gets a sight of their potential meal, it grabs it with its legs, poking the prey with the thorns all over and pulls it inside for a treat. They are a bit choosy and have a certain preference when it comes to their food and mostly like eating different types of fish. Usually, the ones that are relatively softer to pierce through. Although it is not always a bed of roses for the shrimps, as far as large fish are concerned, they manage to pull the predator out of its little burrow. The mantis shrimp leaves no stones unturned to fight back, but is ultimately defeated by the fish. And hence, no dinner that night for the mischievous fellow. On the other hand, the second group comprises the crushers, which has led to them also being referred to as boxer prawns. They have grasping legs, similar to the spearman, but they look like hammers and are ready to strike as soon as they get a glimpse of their prey. Clearly, like that one annoying neighbor who always keeps their noses ready to poke into other people's businesses. The crushers also reside in self-made burrows along the lines of the spearmen. However, they do not prioritize the soft soil and instead go for the hard surfaces like stones and corals. We wonder if digging the ground is as hard as it sounds. Well, not really for them, as they have superpowers, remember? The crushers also seem to follow a different sort of strategy when it comes to hunting. By contrast to their passive buddies, the spearmen, crushers actively search for their food to kill with their evolved set of hammer-like legs. More often than not, they prey on their fellow crustaceans and crabs. 
Crabs do seem to have a hard outer shell and are quick too, but that is not enough to escape from the clutches of the mantis shrimps. When the shrimps get hold of the crab, they hit it several times with their legs, which ultimately kills the crab and makes one hell of a delicious meal for the shrimps. The mantis shrimp does not even bother about the enormous size of the crab and eats it by separating its limbs from its body. The researchers detected how Crusher carries out underwater attacks so fast, which can occur at speeds of up to 23 meters per second. You must be wondering as to what gives the hammer its Thor-like powers, right? You're all not worthy. Well, that is because it is comprised of the same substance that our tooth enamel is. Now, that is pretty self-explanatory. It makes the hammer of the mantis shrimps one of the hardest substances in the entire ocean, which allows it to crack open even shells or stones. The mechanism of this weapon somewhat impersonates the mechanism of a crossbow and therefore leaves a larger impact on the prey. The blow is of such great intensity that it has the potential of breaking a human finger too. Only if this was not enough, a blow of the hammer can reach up to a speed of 80 km per hour and can form a heat bubble around the area of impact, the temperature of which can go up to 5000 degrees Celsius. Fun fact, it is just a tad bit less than the temperature of the sun. We bet now you do not doubt the superpowers of the mantis shrimp. As small and beautiful as it looks, it is just as dangerous and deadly for its perceived opponents. Another unfortunate set of organisms that fall prey to these creatures are the various types of mollusks. These characteristics are a source of inspiration for researchers. Indeed, the Russians have developed a torpedo that can go at 370 km per hour against 190 km per hour usually, and this is only by implementing the principle of cavitation observed in mantis shrimp. Now, let us talk about another component. The mantis shrimp has magnificent vision, given the complicated structure of their eyes, and gives close competition to the birds and mammals in eyesight. But there is one aspect that is even more mind-blowing about their eyes, and it is the fact that their eyeballs can rotate as individual organs, which means that they are self-sufficient to give the creature an extraordinary and wide range of visibility. The vision is even better than that of human beings. Whatever we can see through a pair of eyes, they can see it better even with a single eye. This distinct feature pretty much makes it stand out from a crowd of shrimps and it justifies why it is known to have incredible superpowers. Well, if you thought that the self-sufficient individual eye thing was the best part, you are mistaken because the best part is yet to come. Each eye of the mantis shrimp is bifurcated into three parts and each one gets to have a pupil. That's right, the mantis has six pupils to provide itself with magnificent vision. Also, unlike humans whose eye receptors register as the primary colors of red, green, and blue, or RGB, the mantis shrimp has 16 color receptors which allow it to distinguish between a large variety of colors even in the ultraviolet space. Moreover, they can establish communication with one another using special light indicators that the other organisms can't absorb. Without a doubt, they have the world's most remarkable eyes that produce the highest definition and premium quality images as this 4K video you are watching. So much so that the scientists have started their research to invent tiny cameras with special lenses which will be inspired by the eyes of the mantis shrimp to detect early cancerous cells during biopsies. By this time, it is evident that the mantis shrimp is unique enough to make the other aquatic animals feel an inferiority complex about themselves. And not just that, they also fear going anywhere near the burrows of mantis shrimps. One of the smartest and the most intelligent animals, the octopuses also refrain from being around the territory of the evil shrimps. Even so, the mantis shrimp is aware of the supremacy of the mighty octopus and maintains a safe distance from it. However, small octopuses are not as lucky and can easily fall prey to the mantis shrimp, like the ones who are venomous enough to kill a person with one bite, like the blue-ringed octopus. Now, nature has a strange way in balancing things out sometimes, the octopuses and the cuttlefish can hunt down small mantis shrimps and make them run for their lives. Not just these octopuses and other large fishes, but a lot of people in many countries around the world love feasting on the mantis shrimp, for which they are caught and cooked. They are one of the most popular seafood and are consumed on a large scale, but due to its high fertility, it still exists in huge numbers and is not endangered. Apart from being a seafood dish, it is often kept as a pet by people who like having their little aquariums in their houses. Pro tip, 
If you are thinking of keeping a mantis shrimp in your aquarium, make sure that the aquarium is built using extremely durable glass. As we mentioned earlier, the shrimps can even break through the hardest of substances. Well, all of these superpowers just to be eaten by the greedy humans and be kept as pets in the end? Seems like a total waste per se, but at least it has its eternal dominance in the deep waters. Let us know in the comments what you would like to watch next time, and beware of the iron fist of the mantis shrimp. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you on the next one.